Welcome back guys, a demo for Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster Edition is now available on Steam Store. In this video, I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Now this game supports DLSS frame generation which is exclusive to RTX 40 series GPUs but it does not support FSR frame generation. So I'll be showing you how to install Nukem 9's free DLSS G2 FSR 3.0 frame generation mod. Game supports DLSS 3.5 upscaler. We'll also be showing you how to update the upscaler to DLSS version 3.7. This game is priced at around 50 US dollars. In India, it's priced at around rupees 3000. Capcom has not followed Valve's recommended regional pricing for a game priced at around 50 US dollars. Otherwise, the game would have been priced at around rupees 2000 in India. According to Capcom, this game is a remaster of the original game, which is almost two decades old now but it looks more like a remake. The graphics have been completely overhauled. This game is powered by RE Engine. Yes, you heard it right. Full voices have been added to the dialogues. We play as a journalist Frank who is stuck in a mall with zombies. Help will be arriving in 72 hours. So it's up to him to find out the truth behind the incident before it's too late. I'll be using RE Framework to inject Nukem 9's mod. Otherwise, the game will crash frequently after enabling frame generation. We'll be using version 1.5.8 of RE Framework. Expand Assets section, click on dd2.zip file. Download the latest version of DLSS Subscaler from Tech Power Up's website. I'll give its link in the description. Click on Download here. Latest version at the time of recording this video 3.7.2. Just click on any one of these servers. Nukem 9's mod is compatible with RTX GPUs only. We'll be using its build 0.100 universal version. Click on Nexus Mods link here. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on Files. Click on Manual Download under Universal. Now click on Slow Download. These are the three archive files that I just downloaded. First, we need to initialize RE Framework. Just open dd2.zip file. Windows Explorer. Copy this DLL file, D input 8. Need to paste it in the game's install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click manage, click on browse local files. Paste the DLL file here. Now just launch the game. RE Frameworks menu will pop up. You should be seeing these settings. This means it has been initialized. Close. Now you can exit the game. Go back to the game's install directory. Now you'll see a new folder here, RE Framework. Now I'll show you how to install Nukem 9's mod. Open the mod zip file. Extract this folder dll underscore version. Open the folder. Copy these two dll files. Open the games install directory. Open RE framework folder. Open plugins folder. Paste the dll files here. That's it, mod has been installed. Now I'll update DLSS Subscaler. Open the Upscaler zip file. Extract this DLL file. Copy it. And just paste it in the game's install directory. Overwrite. Replace. Check its version. 3.7.20. Now make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is enabled. Right click anywhere in the desktop area. Click on display settings. Click on graphics. Then click on change default graphics setting. Hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting enabled. If your display supports VR variable refresh rate, enable this setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on Manage 3D Settings. Click on Program Settings here. Click on Add. Select Dead Rising. Add Selected Program. Scroll down to the end. VSync Enabled. Apply. My monitor supports FreeSync Premium. It's G-Sync Compatible. Click on Setup G-Sync. Enable these settings. Enable G-Sync G-Sync Compatible. Enable for Full Screen Mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. We are ready to run the game. We'll be using custom afterburn overlay to show you the performance metrics. You can check the mod files from RE Frameworks menu. Just expand plugin folder setting. Loaded plugins. There's Nukem 9's mod. Close the menu. 
in game graphics setting this game consumes a lot of vram resolution full hd my monitor supports up to 240 hertz refresh rate frame rate variable display mode full screen vsync off texture quality high 0.5 gb with these settings vram usage will be around 7 to 7.5 gb if i use high 1 gb setting vram usage will be close to 7.8 gb even higher than that in some areas where there are a lot of non-playable characters on the screen the zombies texture filtering high shadow quality maxed out dlss upscaler enable using its quality preset frame generation disable for the time being reflex setting enable helps in reducing the latency mesh quality set to high effects enabled just disable motion blur that's it we are in current location paradise plaza present the zombies we have two companions here fps is within a range of 90 to 100 interact with the objects throw it at the zombie i'll use my gun and get off me Look at that VRAM usage around 7.1 GB. Okay, here GPU load is around 90%. So game's performance seems to be limited by the single core CPU performance. Still, we're getting around 100 FPS. So many zombies on the screen. Dead rising for you. Pop his head. What happened to my companions? There they are. I'll just enable frame generation now. On. Back to the game. Yeah, FPS increased to around 150. I can observe the added amount of smoothness. Game's HUD elements are not flickering as expected as this game supports DLSS frame generation. VRAM usage increased by around 200 MB. Now VRAM usage is around 7.2 GB not observing any graphical artifacts around frank's character model this is tlss version 3.7 upscaler no crashing issue some in the i tried running the game with higher texture quality settings observed a few hitches the game just didn't have enough free ram to run smoothly no hitching observed with these settings you can see the frame pacing graph it's a flat line so that's it with the video guys, I hope you find it useful, thanks for watching and have a nice day.